Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new edition of uh, Let's Football Live. My guest today is Jamshed Perefsi midfielder Ator Monroy, who I'll be uh, connecting with in just a short while from now. One of the five players uh, in the previous season of Hero Indian Super League, that season 2019-20, to play every single minute of the campaign that their side was a part of. And the only foreigner to actually play every single minute of the, of the campaign. And uh, speaking of Jamshed for FC, he led the stats in, in pretty much all the departments, whether it was chances created, whether it was tackles, uh, whether it was uh, even something like uh, passes or touches. Uh, so somebody who brought a lot of value to Jamshed for FC's uh, midfield. And today we'll get a chance to talk about his journey in football because he's played uh, across a few countries before coming to India. We'll get to know a little bit more about Jamshedpur FC from him, the Indian players, the foreigners that he rubbed shoulders with over here, and of course his overall experience uh, of, uh, of India. So uh, let me waste no further time as I can see a lot of you have joined us already uh, and get Ito Monroy on. Just give me one second. Trying to see if Mr. Monroy is with us. Not yet. I don't think I can see him yet. So, uh, if, if if you can hear me, if you can hear me, just uh, drop me a request as well, so I can add you on. Tell us about KBFC. Well, if I knew, I wouldn't be the one asking the questions. I would be the one answering them, wouldn't I? But yeah, let's let's hope for a cracking season, guys. Uh, uh, poor connection from my side. I, I'm not entirely sure. I can see your network, and I can see you guys. Uh, messaging me throughout so should not be a problem i'm just going to request the isl team to just help me out here a little bit uh, and hopefully we'll get aitor monroy speaking with us very shortly meanwhile if you guys uh, have something to add something to say about jamshedpur fc uh, mr monroy uh, about the season 2019-20 about what you think will be the most exciting thing about the next season fire away i'd like to know because it's great to have football back, uh, great to have sport back in general uh, uh, with the Premier League, the Bundesliga coming back, uh, all started with the Korean League uh, in Asia and now we're slowly beginning to, uh, to see some sort of normalcy being resumed. I think sport coming back is, you know, is, like an, is the most overt sign of things getting back to normal uh, but of course saving lives is, uh, is of absolute priority at the moment. So let's see how far we can go. So this is a good opportunity actually sitting at home and being able to chat with some, some of the best performers of season 2019-20 in the Hero ISL. I can see the red miners there. Guys, hello. Hopefully I can have uh, Ator Monroy talking to us shortly. Let me see if I've got him. Not yet, not yet. No, still no Mr. Monroy. Uh, we keep trying, we keep trying. A lot of blasters fans as always. How excited are you guys? We had a session with Jessel Carnero. I wonder, I wonder if some of you guys managed to catch it. Uh, great insight into uh, you know, his season. And of course, I talk about Ettor Monroy being one of the five players to play every single minute of uh, season 2019-20 for their club side. Uh, Jessel Carnero was the other one. Uh, if you want to guess some of the other ones... Being shy and you're sweating. No, I've actually just taken a shower. So it's water dripping off my forehead. <laughs> Follow us for latest news in Indian football. Show sure, will do, man. Okay, let's try Mr. Monroy again. No, I can't see him. We're trying, we're trying. Don't worry, we'll be there, we'll get there. A lot of transfer news going around. I wonder what you guys have made of uh, some of the rumor mills uh, you know, that have been uh, abuzz of late. I wonder, I wonder which player is going where. Some, some, sometimes it's, it's difficult to believe if, until you get the official announcement. So a lot of people asking me over here who's going where and which manager is going where and which player is moving in which direction. Uh, frankly, I'm like you guys. I, I wait for the official club handle or the ISL handle to tell me as much as possible. So, um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, as far as I know, uh, really excited uh, to just to see signings being made because at the end of the day, you want football to be coming back and the, and signings happening 
obviously mean that uh, football is going to get back as soon as possible because the season is going to happen. Otherwise, what's the signing for, right? So, Prashant444, what's your name? Anand Tyagi. Yeah, I should specify, specify that since I, I'm using the liberty to use ISL's uh, Instagram handle over here. I'm still waiting for Aitor Monroy to join me, the Jamshedpur FC midfielder. I can't seem to find him. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong at my end, but I'm going to request the digital team of Let's Football Live to, to help me out here a little bit. <clears throat> I hope he remembers it's uh, it's five o'clock India time and not and not and and not his time in Spain because that that'll be a disaster. No, I'm sure I'm sure he's aware. Is Goa the most likely place to host ISL? Yeah, I'm hearing Goa or Kerala, guys. That's the that's the that's the word I have. So uh, it should be either of those two. Uh, from what I'm hearing, I think it it uh, it depends on a couple of things uh, getting sorted out. So let's hope for the best. Whichever place it is, it's it's obviously going to be a very different affair to how we've how we've seen ISL in the past. So, um, as long as football happens, like I said, it's the, it's the best thing, isn't it? And I, I've just got confirmation that he's he's on. So let's see if I can find him now. now if he's not watching, I can't add him. So I'll just wait for him to tune in to tune into this. Otherwise, I'm happy to talk to Jamshedpur FC if they want to join me for a conversation. <laughs> A couple of uh, signings that we're waiting for in Jamshedpur FC as well. Hopefully soon. Now all the clubs are really picking up pace in terms of uh, finding the right sort of mix with what they already have in terms of their existing talent. Uh, again, I've got a message that Aitor Monroy should be with us. Okay, just bear with me one second, guys. You've been you've been very very patient. Thank you so much for that. Uh, as always. I'm going to look for him again. <clears throat> Aline, Alex, thank you so much. What are you guys up to? It's absolutely pelting down in Mumbai. If I could swing my camera around this, I can't see anything beyond almost sort of, sort of five meters from here. Uh, there's been some really heavy rainfall here in Mumbai, which is where I am at the moment. Uh, so I hope wherever you guys are, if you guys are in Mumbai, particularly in the suburban area, stay safe, guys. I can, I think, just about see Mr. Monroy now. Let's see if I can get him on. Okay, I might have just missed him. Wait, view, 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 view. Ah, I got him now. Taking us nine minutes, but we got there eventually. Hello, how are you? Now, now is wait. Now is wait working. It is working now. Thank you so much for your patience. I, 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 I believe it was a bit difficult to come online. Yes, but I don't know what happened. Maybe it's raining there, so problems. Yeah, it could be. It could be at my end, but uh, my apologies in any case. But so glad to have you. You're looking exactly the same as you were <laughs> when the season ended. It means you're at the peak of your fitness. How have you been spending lockdown, Edward? Yeah, we was uh, with the family, trying to to have a, a healthy life and uh, try to spend the, the time with the family. Also, making trainings at home. But uh, always trying to to be happy. My most important question to you is: How do I pronounce your name correctly? Because we, as Indians, we are, all have our different ways. Aitor Monroy. Aitor Monroy. So, guys, watching this, all three sixty of you, it's Aitor Monroy. So we'll never get it wrong ever again after this. But Aitor, thank you so much for sparing time to speak with us. I'll jump to the first fan question that came uh, about your journey in football, and that comes from Ashish Singh Eleven. And he wanted to know how was your journey and what was the turning point in your career because you played across Romania, in Israel, in Moldova as well before coming to India and of course starting from Spain. Yes, uh, I was from a kid. Uh, I play in the school in the futsal. It's the four against four, and with four or five years, I began to play, play to play, and after move for the to move to the to the club of my of my country in Alcala, my city. I played ten years there, from the nine years until seventeen years, and from there I moved to Atletico Madrid. Uh, I, I spent three years there in, in second team, and after I moved to uh, one club to Logroñés to play in second division before in third division, and after I moved from from now from the country, I need uh, to some experience to to try to to try more from the from the life to 
to get more experience in different countries. And my first step was uh, Romania. I played one uh, small club there. Uh, we make a very good season. And after I moved to Cefere Cluj, uh, a very important club there in uh, Romania. Yeah. And after I, I tried to, to, to play in, in Europe, uh, Europa League with, uh, with uh, Cefere. And after we moved to Moldova, Sheriff Tiraspol. Right. And I, I was there, uh, and after I moved from there to to Israel, I never I never think to to play there. But uh, one agent uh, called me and told me come here to play. And for the first time, I was a little bit afraid because uh, we know we saw so many bad things from the from the TV. But when I arrived yeah. there, when I arrived there, it was for me a very good experience, very security life very good guys and i spent there two years and after i come back to romania spain but after finally come the option to to come to india and i'm very happy here and i try to spend a lot of time in, in your country we are very happy that you decided uh, to choose india and i think that answers ashish singh's question but there was also a question about uh, your turning point in your career was there one moment where you thought uh, okay, now I need to take this this sport professionally. There must have been a time either in school at all where you thought, okay, I can do more than just kick a ball around. I can do this uh, as a professional. It was, was when uh, I played in, uh, in the the club of my city in Alcala, and after uh, we yeah. make a, a very good move, uh, 17 year, 18 year was the the moment to to try if you want to play professional or, or not. And in this moment, uh, I I give all my uh, what I have inside. We make a, a many good uh, season. We go to to up other league, and finally uh, Atletico Madrid uh, push uh, his eyes in me, and they take me to Atletico. And was uh, the the moment to to change my my life to the career to professional. Fantastic. Uh, there were, you know, every time we have a Spanish player, you you always ask Messi or Ronaldo. But you started your journey with Atletico Madrid. Who do you pick? Yes. Uh, I don't know to pick uh, some player, but for me, to training with uh, Kun Aguero, Fernando Torres, Forlan, all these players for me was amazing. Uh, for me, uh, with seven, eighteen year when Aguero come to to Spain in Atletico, I think this this player will be amazing. For me, it was a very impact uh, Kun Aguero. Yeah, it must have been it must have been an absolute joy growing up in a football crazy uh, Madrid. But you know who. Uh, I wanted to know, and in fact, Jamin Jason also had a question. Who was your, who's your role model, or who was your role model growing up, and which club did you support? I support Atletico all the time. It was my club from the from the small, like like my father. But uh, the player I I bore with Atletico, I we played with one player in Atletico was Juninho, Juninho Osvaldo Basilian. Uh, after taking injury in the leg with uh, Michel Salgado, he's playing Real Madrid. Was an amazing player and always I, I like to play like him. But uh, he's not my position. I was midfielder and he was number 10. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you, I was going to ask you, when I looked at your numbers from the season, I thought you had the most chances created for Jamshedpur. You were the only Jamshedpur player to make more than 100 tackles, most touches, most passes. What is the position that you like playing the most? Do you prefer playing in a defensive midfield position or do you like playing further forwards? What do you prefer? Uh, I don't know. My, my position is uh, in front of the defenders. It's number six uh, defender. But uh, always I try to give all my best. I, I, do, I, I want to, to, to build the football and to try to, to defend also. For me, to be in the middle, you need to attack and defend. But uh, more is my positional is in the middle, in the back, but I like to, to help the player in the front. Uh, also, in this season was uh, very difficult for us, but I try to give uh, yeah. all my 100. is the more important, to try to give all of what I have. I can see a lot of people uh, talking about pity. I'm sure Sergio, Ca Sergio Castell has joined us as well. So, uh, mm -hmm. hi, hi, Sergio. I hope you are I hope you're much better. As you can see, you absolutely lit up Aitor's face by joining us. <laughs> Um, yes. And I hope to see you back in India. Uh, but but we'll talk about the season as well. I thought, but I wanted to know from you what has been the experience like because you played in so many different countries, so many different cultures. 
it can't be easy as a footballer when you're changing your position and you're changing your location so often yes we we like professional we need to adapt to every place you are it's different to play football in india than to play to romania the the style of the football i think is different and you need to adapt on on all their their culture and this is the more important to be a player it's possible to adapt because you you know in football so many players go out from his country don't adapt and this is very difficult for him you have something to say to sergio castel before he leaves us uh sergio very good guy my friend my partner and also piti is there how are you my friends yeah he's just saying piti the best over there uh, i mean sometimes you look back at uh, jamshedpur season and you think if these two gentlemen were fully fit through the season it could have been a completely different story i told would you agree with that yes of course uh, you only do need to see the first five games it was in a good way and in the game of uh, kolkata there uh, piti gets first injured and the, the team was a little bit down but after this he recovered but uh, sergio go down injured uh, piti go down injured noe go down injured after tiri injured for so was a difficult very difficult one for us because we all the time we we lose players and when you have a, a team we do need player with the quality and with the experience is very difficult yeah. to, to replace them and you carried the flag of spain throughout because you played every single minute of every game for jamshedpur fc while while there were people getting injured around you but uh, speaking of spain there are so many spanish footballers who now come to isl and who come to india but how did you hear about uh, the indian super league and you know how did you decide to come to india i thought yeah i heard the, the league i i heard also for from javi lara who was playing in kolkata and he, i know him from from here from Spain and he told me a very good things a very good experience here um also i called to a call tidi i asked him to about the india about the club about all and i have good word from him and um, from there also with atletico was the campaign with jansenspur they know me from spain uh, and it was very important for me that the the people all the people tell about uh, india very good also from the organization from the league from the clubs from all all the environment there was a question from uncle d1234 wanted to know uh, what is your perspective on indian football now that you've spent a season in the hero indian super league and why did you choose jamshedpur fc in in particular so i think you kind of answered that already but do you want to tell us your perspective on indian football how how i don't hear you like your your opinion about indian football from what you noticed in the first season in the isl i don't i think we uh, india have a very good talents uh, young players and also player they are playing in the in the league but uh, only need to play more 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 minutes and uh, compete compete the more important is they compete and also i think uh, we have a very good coach in the league and they they are t- teaching a lot uh, and this is the important to to every day to improve and with this and the young the young talents for example in our club we have a uh, young talents very very good players and they will in one two three season will be in the national team and uh, we need to to improve with them is the more important to try to help them and and to play 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 and the more important to play and compete yeah game time that's that's crucial isn't it but i uh, just you know there was another question related to what you're saying uh from anos max miller too interesting name uh and he says indian football is progressing well as young talent is emerging and they're getting a chance to play in the hero isl but he speaks of people like mohishi rehman he speaks of sandeep pandey a uh, guy you know from the dressing room in jamshedpur uh, there's somebody who mentioned narendra gehlot as well uh there was jitu who was also part of that uh, jamshedpur squad what do you think of some of these footballers and uh, some of these younger footballers rather who are coming through the ranks uh, and you know jamshedpur fc have given them a platform to rise i think they are working good in our team i saw them working very hard and this is the more important always want to improve but uh, i i i know from them is difficult the was uh, the first the first game in the esl for more or then and the important now is to support them to try to give a a uh, good uh, words to try to to help them to to arrive to the level they want 
I think they have uh, very good qualities. They have a uh, work. They have condition in the club. And the more important is to continue. Don't 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 let to pass the time. You need to to leave the present because after you will they say, hey, why I don't give my 100% the other day? It's the more important every day to give to 100%. And after you have time to to rest. I think PT is joined the conversation as well. You, maybe you can give a message to PT. Yeah, PT. I hope he will be good as soon as possible to come to India to play one more year. I know he want to to, to finish with a, a good sense because he have a, a lot of injuries. Um, he want to finish the, his career with a good uh, a flavor. Nice one. That's that's a good note to uh, to to wish him luck with because. He, he would want to finish on a high and Jamshed for FC maybe would have reached that high in season 2019-20. I thought absolutely agree with you. But speaking of Jamshedpur and the city of Jamshedpur, there are so many questions. The Red Miners are, are also part of this conversation. Uh, the fans of Jamshedpur FC. Uh, and Dave Majumdar's question I'll take first. And he wanted to know your first experience when you entered the furnace, the stadium, and the, and what was the crowd response like for you? Yeah, it was uh, first first time we was inside was a friendly match against the Real Kashmir, and they was crazy. It was a friendly game, and they can 10, 10, 12, 12, 100 people there. It was amazing in the in the first uh, friendly game. But after in the first game we play at home with Odisha, uh, they was our support. We 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 win. We won this game with the support of the people. We was losing. When one player down and, and they push all the time us. Uh, I think we have a very good supporter. Uh, every game, 20,000 uh, person in the stadium. I think two, three teams only put this in the in the E. And for us, it's very important. It's very important what we have in the back. The next one is actually my favorite question that I saw from all the fan questions that came in. And it comes from Tala Fair Official. Uh, it's a sort of philosophical question for you, I thought. Let's see if you can answer this one. How has Jamshedpur FC changed you? There are a lot of people who talk about them transforming after coming to India, experiencing the culture and the style of football and all of that. How has Jamshedpur FC as a club changed you as a footballer, as a human being? It changed me like uh, to try for every people like uh, me. I try the same to the cooker. I try the same to the manager. I try the same to the guys clean the rooms. For me, we are a family, and we try to to all the people to be in the in the same uh, place to try to build something important. I think uh, we have a very bad luck this season. Uh, we had. A uh, very good squad with uh, good players, but uh, I think uh, so many problems with the injuries, they kill us. But from the club, always uh, support us, they give us uh, all the best, and we need to recognize them. Uh, we help all the time, and we need to, they need to con continue like this. And it's very important for, for all the people. If they will come to Jansen's pool, they will know they we will have the the hands up to to get them and to come with us. Uh, for us, it's very important to to have all the support from the from the club. Now, Jamshedpur FC had the most amount of Spanish players. I mean, there are there are side like Goa, there's Bengaluru, there's ATK. There are a lot of Spanish players uh, playing for them as well. But Jamshedpur had the biggest Spanish contingent. Was it easier for you? to settle down in the club because of the Spanish players? Or uh, did you guys interact a lot with the Indians as well? We, uh, for, 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 of course, it is, it's more easy for us when you arrive in one country and you know half Spanish, you, you can account with them. You try to, to help with yeah. them. But also the Indian players, there was a uh, very, very good guys. Uh, Farouk, uh, Subrata, uh, Agus, uh, Joiner, uh, so many players, they try to help us in, in the first moment. Uh, Karan, so many players, they try to, to help us. Yeah, and this is more important, very important for us. Sure thing. I'm sure you, now you're, you're better prepared for the, for the next season. Which brings me to the next question, which a lot of fans uh, were asking. Where are you going to be next season? <laughs> I hope, I hope here in Justice Pool. I hope, I want to be here. I, I want to be here. I will be. And I, I expect I can stay so many years here, and I'm very happy here. It's the more important. If you are happy, why change? 
Absolutely. And I think that that's a great answer. Yeah, I, I didn't ask that question. There, these are questions coming from fans. My job is to just be the bridge between them and you. So I'll get to the next one, which comes from uh, Football Park. Um, and he's asking, which is your favorite place in Jamshedpur? And let me just scan it on my laptop. We see you at Le Bon Cafe quite a lot. Yeah, we like to, like Spanish, we like to drink some coffee and we go so many times this 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 time to, to drink some coffee in the place and this is our tradition to go there and to play some parties or some games for Spanish. Parties is, is like, that your favorite place? Parties is like Ludo. <laughs> so that is your favorite place and the coffee shop there in Jamshedpur is your favorite place. Yes, uh, so many times we go there to spend time uh, it's very good. Yeah. Okay, fair play. The next question is from uh, Robbie King and he wanted to know your favorite Indian food. I know you like your naan and your roti, but your favorite Indian food? Indian food? Uh, I like roti, but uh, also, how is the name? This uh, this with rice. With, with the name? Something with rice? Uh, no, with the, the rice. This rice you make in... With chicken, with his name. I'm going to I'm going to ask Jamshedpur FC if they're listening to this to help me out over here because uh, I would not know what Aitor was eating over there or what you guys were feeding him. So come on, Jamshedpur FC or Red Miners, if you guys are listening to this, help Aitor out. He's trying to find the Indian dish that he really liked. My bad. My grandmother was trying to call me while I was uh, in, while I was on Instagram live with you. It happens from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> biryani. Okay, I'm just going to wait. Biryani, is it biryani? Yes, yes. That's the one, yeah, yeah. A lot of people are guessing it correctly. Okay, Samson has guessed it right. Somebody before that as well. Prasad Gavali 24. Well done, guys. I'm really sorry. I, I wish I wish I knew. But okay, so biryani it is. How often, how often are you allowed to eat biryani? Because I'm sure... As part of your diet as a footballer, you wouldn't be eating that too much. No, we one time in the in the week maximum. One time in the week we put in the buffet and we eat this one time only in the week. It's uh, right. is the day if we, if we are free. It's the day after the game sometimes. When you burnt all those calories, so it's time to put some back in. Yeah, makes sense. Yes. Correct. Yes. <laughs> okay, the next question is from Gomea. And uh, I'm not sure if it's a he or she, so my apologies, but wanted to know uh, something memorable for you about Jamshedpur city. What's the one thing that you always remember about the city? About the city? About Jamshedpur, the city. Uh, always, uh, always when I go to, to the market, I like to go to the market and to visit there, how is there, the people is working, uh, and I like to, to walk in, uh, around there with my friend, with the, my college. I like with there to see the people how is uh, with the with the tomatoes with all these things they are taking apple all these things I like to to work there. Okay, fair play. Then the the next question is from Akhil underscore R underscore Kumar, and I believe he's a Kerala Blasters fan. But he wanted to know your thoughts when you play in a jam-packed stadium in Kochi versus KBFC, or should I? Should I also add to that, Aitor, by asking you which is your favorite stadium away from home that you experience playing in? The two stadiums, uh, also Kerala there, and also Goa. I like also the stadium of Goa, very nice. Um, but uh, I know a supporter of uh, Kerala was uh, very good. But I, th I thought in the moment we play there, they don't count so much. I think very. Yeah. Bad moment, but I think uh, they um, and the stadium of Goa, they are too nice. But uh, the best is uh, Janssenspur, to have our stadium. <laughs> yeah, that's it, the furnace. Okay, now speaking speaking about your season, I told you, you had a very good season, uh, despite the team not being able to make the playoffs. There were plenty of positives for you as an individual as well. Extremely caustic, wanted to know your favourite moment in the season 2019-20 of the Hero ISL. Uh, the favorite moment was uh, when we won at home to to Kerala Blaster, uh, when, right. and also when the in this moment uh, Castel came from injured and scored also scored from the penalty was a very mom a moment very difficult for us and we we was losing and we we won three three two 
it was a very difficult moment and we won uh, this game uh, i know we prepared too much for this game because we need to win and the support and hell us uh, we have a lot of injuries castel comes from injury from the bench uh, so many guys they was with so many problems um, yeah. and we, we we won this game Uh, there was also an instance where you scored a goal, but unfortunately the team uh, did not quite cross the line. There was a question again from Tala Fez official. He wanted to know your reaction at your first goal at the Kalinga Stadium. Uh, the reaction uh, was uh, a penalty uh, shoot uh, other side. Uh, I don't have too much time to celebrate the goal because we was losing one zero, and we was yeah. fast to to take the ball to to score the second ball. Same goal, but for me to score is always a very good feeling. I don't score too much, but when I score, I like. <laughs> <laughs> does does Subrata Paul? Does Subrata Paul, or should I say, did Subrata Paul speak to you guys a lot about uh, the opposition? Because he has so much knowledge about Indian football. He's been around for so many years. He's been a part of the national team. Did he guide you a lot about how some of the opposition Indian players will play? What are their strengths? Their weaknesses? In the in my position, uh, Subrata Paul, the goalkeeper, did he did he guide you a lot as well? Goalkeeper, yeah, uh, difficult, eh? Um, for me, the best one of the best goalkeeper, I think, is from Bengaluru was the one of the best of the season. He he saved a lot of from there, and I think was very very good. All right, okay, fair enough. You give me a prediction there, but no problem. There's a the next round I play, which you will know as a Spaniard, and it's called the uh, Tiki Taka Aitor, where I'll give you clues and you have to guess the player I'm talking about. Okay. okay. So short, short, sharp clues, and let's see if you can guess the player I'm talking about. For now, okay, I'll try. And... But the player from where? No, I'm going to ask you the question, uh-huh. and I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you something about the player, and you have to guess the player's name. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. Let's try. Um. So this guy. Put twenty six crosses in the season, and four of them led to goals for Jamshedpur in twenty nineteen twenty. Farooq. Yeah, bang on. Well done. That's a cracking start. See, that's all. It's an easy game. Tiki Taka. <laughs> Farooq Chaudhary. He had a great start to the season, particularly when Sergio uh, was still fit. Uh, what did you make of Farooq Chaudhary and his and his potential, not just for Jamshedpur uh, in the season, but for Indian football? Uh, I think they have. He have a very good potential. Also, he wore a lot with us. He he have a good, very good. I know from I saw he make a, a diet to be fit, one hundred percent. He's a very good guy. Uh, he tried yeah. to help all the people, and I think he was he was improving a lot with the player in front. Uh, we know he have a bad moment. He's not working good, but I he think I think he he give all the time one hundred percent. And when a player give one hundred percent, for me have too many too many win. Fair enough. Okay, the next player. I'm going to give you a clue. Let's see if you can guess this one. Um, I missed seven matches in Hero ISL season twenty nineteen twenty. And Jamshedpur FC failed to win any of those seven games. Tiri. No, but you're close. One more guess. Should I give you one more clue? Yes. Okay. Uh, I scored five of Jamshedpur FC's opening eight goals in season 2019-20. Eight goals. Castel. Five of the first eight. This guy scored five of the first eight goals that Jamshedpur FC your team scored. Castel. That's the one, Sergio Castel. Now you already said hello to him. You said such nice things about him. But what, according to you, uh, was the most special thing about Sergio Castel as a as a striker? Because he's still very young. Yeah, I think uh, he's very strong. He's have a very good power. Uh, when the first uh, meters, he have very good power. And I think all the time he have the goal in the in the head. He's a killer. Are you going to call him and tell him to come back to India as well? I hope he <laughs> come to India, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what is the future. I don't know what happened with him. 
in the moment. I hope he's good with the with the leg. I called him and he told me he's in a good his fit. And I don't know. Maybe we will see him back. We don't know. Well, as long as you're coming back, as long as you're coming back, maybe some of the other Spanish guys will also come back with you. So that's that's more important, Nitor. So that's perfect. Okay. So my my third player for the day that I'm looking for. Here's the first clue. Uh, like yourself, that is like Aitor Monroy, I have also played for Atletico Madrid B back in Spain. Which player am I? In my in my in that sport. This guy has also played for Atletico Madrid's B team. Tiri. Just like you. Tiri. That's the one. Yeah, that that was easy, isn't it? With okay. Tiri. What was your relationship like with uh, with Tiri? And uh, did you guys spend a lot of time uh, off the pitch as well? Yes, of course. We was all the time uh, trying to to play some games. We are talking. He in the first uh, time we explain we explain I uh, explain all the things from the league, from the country, all a little bit. You know, we try to introduce in the in the country and in the in the league also. What's the one thing I told about Tiri that nobody knows? You must know one secret about Tiri that nobody knows. Come on, one there thing. are a lot of Tiri fans. <laughs> uh, no, no, left, left Tiri. Now his father needs to be relaxed now. Maybe, <laughs> maybe Tiri need to announce something. I don't know. Okay, no, but in, while while you were playing for Jamshedpur, is there something you noticed about his training that nobody knows outside? Because he's he's very hardworking. We've we've seen him. And I see a lot of his videos on Instagram as well. You know, he's he's always training. He's looking to be in his best shape. Yes, I know. He is working all the time. And swimming. <laughs> I need to explain who. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, I'll I'll spare you the 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 pain of answering that one. Uh, let Tiri decide where he's going next. Okay. Uh, now there's a there are a couple of questions on the Indian players. You've already answered a few of them. uh but i'll try and take them quickly there was nice there was one interesting one from pratik mishra 08 ozil who wanted to know particularly from you since you've traveled so much what changes should should indian players make i told to be able to play in european leagues i think all all in the in the player is the mentality uh, we need to have a mentality strong mentality and uh, to fight against uh, all the circumstances around you you have good mentality you will train in good you will be happy you will you will think i will i will win i will try i will be the best and i think for a player if you have a strong mentality from then you can build what you want excellent one more question from watsal patel who wanted to know who's the best young indian player that you have played against or with i th- i thought i think one of the best player will be I think is the midfielder of uh, Northes. I don't know what is the name. Jam, Jam, very, very Jam. He, he played. Oh, Laling Moya. What? Is it Laling Moya? Is that is that who you're looking at? Number Laling Moya. Number forty-five. Very good player. Number forty-five. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I think that, it's a A lot of people ask. A lot of people when I ask them about the Indian young talent, they they tell me the number forty-five at Northeast United FC. Yes, <laughs> yes. I think uh, I saw so many games because he's playing my position, and I say some determination, some qualities, uh, very very good. But I think also yeah. Tapa is very good player from uh, Chennai. Um, but I have so many talents in the in the India. We have uh, Narendra. He will be a very good central back. Uh, Amaji in the middle, very good player. Uh, uh, yeah. Aniket, uh, amazing uh, talent with the faster. Uh, um, I think very fast. Uh, shoot with the left, shoot with the right. All very good player. Um, you know, t- tell us a little bit more about them. Uh, guys like Aniket, Amarjeet, Narendra, Jitu. Do they come up to you and they take advice from people like you or Sergio? Or PT or, or Tiri for that matter. Yeah, yes, always, always they they was around to try to to see what uh, how we train, how we need. We try to also to to give to advance to how we need to be, how we need to eat, how we need to and to try to rest, to be always positive, uh, always advice to to have a a good level. 
there's a there's a question about the about the new season and it comes from serious underscore black underscore two five two one who wanted to know uh, tips to be a a really good central midfielder. What would you advise Indians Indian footballers watching this to be a really good central midfielder or a defensive midfielder? I think uh, the most important is to to know your qualities and um, from there you you need to to use them. Uh, from there also when you play in the middle you need to see all all the pitch you need to control all you need to to try to be very smart is the more important to be smart and to play simple don't need to to risk too much okay one final thing uh, there's a rapid fire that i play and it's called one touch let's football so i told uh, i'm going to ask you questions and you have to answer as quickly as possible okay um, the first question Sergio Castell or Pity? Who do you choose? Both. <laughs> Sergio Pity. <laughs> okay. Both. Um, Narendra Gehlot or Jitendra? Uh, both. No possible. <laughs> choose. You got to answer one. You got to answer one. Don't worry about them. They're kids. They'll forgive you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Amarjeet. Amarjeet or Narendra Gehlot? Who do you think has the bigger potential in Indian football? difficult i think uh, it's possible in arender because central back is very difficult to find with this uh, condition i think midfielder you can find more yeah but uh, central back is very difficult to build and he have all the qualities to be a very good central defender yeah we had sumit rathi winning the emerging player of the league he used to play left sided center back for antonio lopez habas In terms of the Spanish coaches, I'm just diverting a little bit. In terms of the Spanish coaches who were there, who was your favorite? Is there somebody you thought was really good tactically, really sound? Who? I don't hear you. Among you... among the Spanish coaches, I thought. Did you think uh, there was one particular manager who who was really good? I think uh, all uh, Spanish managers have different style. For example. Uh... Uh, Antonio Lopez, they play different than the we play, and different than the play Carlos Cuadrat. It's very difficult, and they play Sergi Lovera. Difficult, different football. I think they play uh, Kolkata more counter attack, and go yeah. and play more possession, with, and Bengaluru also more possession and more defensive uh, with in the back in Bengaluru. I think uh, for Spanish they adapt the Spanish, but with different context. I think uh, Kolkata they play a little a little more counter attack. They they wait and they go like crazy with the faster player up. Yeah, that's true. Okay, uh, if you were to if you were to go somewhere on a holiday, would you pick Tiri as a partner or Memo as a partner? If I go to Brazil, Memo. <laughs> Great answer, I thought. Really smart, really intelligent. Okay. Uh, then the next one: playing at the Salt Lake Stadium or playing in Kochi. What do you think was the bigger occasion for you? Where Kochi or Kochi or the Salt Lake Stadium in Kolkata? Kochi. In Kochi, yeah, I think you answered that already. Um, who do you think was a tougher opponent, uh, Krivelaro or Hugo Boom? Hugo, Hugo Boom. Hugo Boom because he's more direct or because uh, he can shoot with both feet dribble with both feet what did you think uh, because he move uh, very fast is very faster with the legs uh, and also change the direction very fast and from the play in the middle when you change so fast the direction how how will he will make because it's more and a little bit faster it's very difficult to to change the direction but Kribillar also is good player but he's more is more the to con- go with the ball direct to the game more vertical i think but Hugo okay. is more difficult i think you go and in terms of indian attacking players uh, i told who did you think was uh, the, the the most difficult opponent to play against uh chetri difficult uh, and also asike asike from bengaluru very faster asike Ashik, Ashik, yeah, very fast. Um, with the left foot and they change the rhythm very fast. Difficult, very difficult to take him. Okay. Only in tackle, tackle, always tackle. 
<laughs> yeah, that's why you had more than 100 tackles in the season, right? Uh, which is by far and above the most for Jamshid. Okay, the next question is, 3-2 win versus Kerala or the 1-0 win against Goa? Which, you, which one did you like the most? Yeah, uh, which we play better with the uh, one zero to Goa. We played uh, more defensive uh, and they control yeah. the ball and we run a lot. With uh, Kerala, was different. We played good, good game, good football, and uh, we finally we won the game. But with the Goa, we won. We win the game, but uh, it was very difficult to run too much and they have too many quality to score us. Uh, we Subrata save a uh, two, three chance very good. And I think we we suffered a lot. Okay. Uh, winning a high scoring game or winning with a clean sheet, what is more important to you as a player? <laughs> like like a player score goal, score goals. Two goals, okay. Uh, tackle or interception? What do you think is better? Uh, I like more tackle on the person. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fair enough. I thought you've been absolutely fantastic. You've answered almost all the questions. Karan Amin says hello to you, so you can say hello back to him. He's on. He's in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> now, I told we're we're looking forward to having you back in India. Your message to all the Jamshedpur FC fans, to the Red Miners. Yes. Uh, See you soon. I hope all with this COVID will be better in in some some days. Uh, we will be there, and the next day, the next season, we need to be in playoff. Uh, we need to fight for this. Um, I I will I will give all my 100% to be in the top four. Okay. See you soon, guys. Perfect. I told. Thank you so much for your time today. Stay safe and see you in India very very soon. Okay, thank you. Ciao. Good yes, bye bye. Bye bye. But that was uh, Aitor Monroy of uh, Jamshedpur FC. Some staggering numbers uh, uh, for the Men of Steel this season, season 2019 20. And like he said himself, by his own confession, we should be seeing him back in India and should be seeing him back playing for the Men of Steel uh, Jamshedpur FC. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, and uh, sorry about the, the connectivity issues every now and then. It is absolutely pelting down here in Mumbai where I tried my best. But uh, thanks for all the questions, for all the feedback. And we'll see you very, very soon in a couple of days with uh, a couple of guests back to back. We'll reveal that very shortly in, uh, in, in the next few days. So stay tuned, stay safe, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.